In this video, I will diagnose and solve the bad FM reception on my 2009 BMW 5 Series. Stay tuned. Hi, welcome to another Go For It video. I really hope you enjoy it, and if you do, consider to subscribe to the channel and activate the notifications. At a few days, my radio stopped to get the, the FM stations, and uh, I went online to search for uh, the problem, and it seems that sometimes the diversity model goes away, uh, other times it's just uh, a broken wire, so I, I hope it's just the, the connection cable that is broken, but uh, to check that I will start to read the codes on the car to see if we can identify something that uh, that relates to the diversity model or, or something else. No FM stations, just one frequency, but nothing I can just static and no stations to to read the codes i will use my brand new uh, scanner it's a top down an artidiag 800 bluetooth and this guy here uses a bluetooth dango that i will connect on the obd port right down here and now i can came to the scanner just put the ignition on the on position and uh, let me let me just put this in here so I can show you guys so from the main menu uh, I will hit scan and now I can search by brand but in my case I will do an auto search this will search the the VIN for the car and uh, then it can select it automatically all the info from from the car here it is the VIN code identified we need to wait a moment now it will ask me if I want to manually select my car or automatic I will do an automatic search because I already know that it works properly. Here it is, all the ID for my car. And now I hit next. It just tell me to ensure that uh, uh, my ignition is on. Now, I can do a health report, a system scan, and the system selection. The system scan will show me all the modules that are present in this configuration of the, of the car. The system selection allows me to scan a specific uh, system. The health report will run through all the, all the systems and check the, the codes. I will do a health report, so you guys can see. how it behaves oh we have already some errors so let's see what we have here so it is giving me something related to the do with the air conditioning it's the fogging sensor the light model it gives me also uh, an error i have to check this what it is and the control display the cic ccc so this is related with the radio for sure so it, the, f the first one it says fault in aerial voltage supply or aerial open or short circuit so for sure that uh, we will have some broken cable cable somewhere okay i will go back and uh, now that i confirm that i have nothing related with the diversity model and uh, i have uh, an open circuit so it for sure it will be a broken cable let me check also this error for the light model something you see here it says history it means that this is not a current error and it is something that it is stored on the on the memory well i will just clean 
the code and uh, I will perform the health report again and see if it pop again it should not yeah that one is gone we have the fogging sensor that is a current error and also these two for the for the antenna that both of them are current so now okay i will not worry about the light model because that was an old, an old thing and i will hunt the the broken wire for the antenna i've been inspecting the connections and i found a broken wire right in here so i will disassemble this piece here to get access to the to this inch inside so i can open it try to get the wire out and in the inner part i will remove the um, the speaker in here in the in the driver side to catch the wire that we have uh, passed through in in this position to remove this top this top part we need to take these four caps in here and then the, the torque screws below. We have here four T30 bolts. After you unbolt it, you need to slide it down. And now we can easily, we can now disconnect the wires for the, the stop from here. And this is the water connector. I will undo these two nuts that holds this hinge in place to try to open this metal sleeve and uh, check if I manage to remove this this wire here that it is the one that it is broken inside of course you saw what happened be careful because the the spring inside is really strong let me show you guys so you guys don't do the same mistake i did I should have opened the, the cover first to, in order to disconnect the, the two connectors. And I simply repeat from the, the connector. Let's see if I am able to, to re repair this one also and how I am how going to do that. So here we have the connector that it is now broken apart. The channel in the hinge is just pressed in, so it is two parts. You will see it, it has some small tabs on the side and we believe we just need to force it a little bit like this and it will be open. Okay, now we have here the this is the, the water pipe and it is put to and just look at this not only the wire but also the pipe it is broken now I need to get a connector to, to solve a connector like this to put the pipe together and uh, weld the wires because we need to open the, the, the back door to access the inside, I need to tighten this hinge again. So I will push it down here and bolt it again on place to be able to open the door and access the wires inside. Next time I will try not to forget how strong this is. Now I will access this speaker here just 
take the, the cover and now we have again some small torx bolts now all the speaker assembly came loose and just pry the connector now with the speaker off we can see the two rubbers that uh, are held by some torx screws also and we need to remove to expose the wires to solve the situation in the broken wires the brown one that it is i believe it's the feed to the window defogger uh, it's a thick wire so i will i will weld it directly in the other edge for the antenna uh, that it's slightly short in the in the harness uh, so i will i will weld the core with the uh, wire i will isolate it and then i will weld the shield with another wire over the protection of the inside layer and protect it from the outside but you will see it in a moment i will perform these welds here in the workbench and then in the car i will not uh, film it because it's a strange position but it's exactly the same process i will do here i will do back there in the car The wire is now welded together, this, this, the core. Now let's insulate it and paste insulation over the central insulation of the wire. And the core is now connected, welded and insulated. The outer sleeve now I will take some more a little bit more of insulation of this wire to expose like this a bit longer part of cooper now i will just push the the shielding to the front and with this wire i will wrap it like this and have it ready to be also welded and just like that this end of the wire it's ready to to install on the car to prepare the connector for the water pipe i need to machine a metal sleeve that i will insert to connect both pipes. I think it's the, the best and most durable way to, to do it. So I will prepare here a small sleeve with uh, five millimeters outside and three millimeters inside. millimeters outside we are okay now I will put the, the drill here in the tail and uh, and open uh, a hole in the middle with three millimeters now guys here we have our in insert to join the the pipe together i will give it a light coat of paint inside and out to prevent some rust and it's ready to to solve the the broken pipe at this point everything is welded inside everything is connected the hose is connected everything is okay so now we can simply put it in place and bolt the hinge Okay. 
All the connectors are now in place. I will now reassemble the brake light and put this piece all together. Before we close everything, let's turn on the radio. And now we have all the radio stations back. So our problem is solved. The four plastic covers. Here inside, we just need to put the rubber again, bolt it, connect to the speaker, put it in place and then put the, the cover grill. The radio is working properly, we just need to delete the error and check it again to see if everything is it's okay. So, let's connect the dongle right there and now one more time let's go to scan and all the procedure that i show you guys last time now i skip it the tedious part and let's go for the health report our errors that now if you check they are marked as history both of them clear all it's cleaning okay okay now we can go back and i will perform the health report again and we just have the the current error for the for the fogging sensor this was for the video for today i really hope you enjoy it and it can be useful if you have this problem Scan the codes if you are able to, to check if there's something else. If not, inspect the hinge here in this area uh, with a flashlight and uh, probably the broken wire will be around, around here. Uh, as usual, like the video, hit the subscribe button and activate the notifications in the bell so you don't lose any of the new content. And as I do, don't be afraid to do it yourself. Go for it.